tonight oh God God we thank you even right now for the word that's going to come forth right now God bless Mr. Smooth right now God a right now ready word that will speak to every situation right now God God we honor you in this place we bless you in this place God we lift your name on high tonight oh God this Friday night God today God we just want to say thank you we felt you in a mighty way today oh God your love, your grace, and your mercy towards us today. God, we felt it in a mighty way, oh God. God, we thank you for keeping us. We thank you, God, for keeping us in our right mind, oh God. We thank you for the peace today, oh God. We thank you, oh God. Now, God, have your way in this service. Have your way in this atmosphere, even right now, God. Bless all that are here, oh God. Bless all that desire to be here, even right now, God. We should never forget about your goodness. We should never forget about what you've done for us. We lift our hands in praise to you. We bless you. We honor you. We magnify you. And we glorify you. And it's in the name of Jesus we pray. Every heart said amen. Hallelujah. Oh, come on. of the Lord. If you're glad to be in the house of the Lord, come on, show some time. Hallelujah, hallelujah. He oh, is good. Pray that like the house is full. Come on. Yeah. Cause I was glad when they said unto me, let us go. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Come on, come on. Let us go into the house of the Lord. I was there when they said unto me, Come, let us praise the Lord. I was there when they said unto me, Come, let us go into 
your brothers, help me say it. Come on, say it. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Yeah, yeah. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Come on, now, toes, help me say it. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah.
marvelous are your works, your holy law. Holy Lord, holy Lord. Holy, holy Lord God Almighty, holy, holy, holy Lord God Almighty, holy, holy, holy. Who was and is and is to come? Just call on him. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. His word is good. And he'll do just what he said he would do. All you have to do is just trust him and believe that he will do what he said he would do. Uh, he's a God that will not lie. His word is true. Hallelujah. Well, I told uh, Tasha, I said, well, I'm glad it ain't that many people here so I won't have to sweat so much. <laughs> Hallelujah. Well, I just want to thank God for the father of this house. Hallelujah. <laughs> That's right, you know, you got to give honor where honor is due. Because if it had not been for God that spoke into Bishop's life, I wouldn't be here today. <laughs> Hallelujah. So he's good, he's good. Uh, the scriptures um, reading we'll be coming from is John 1, 1 through 3, and Hebrews 11 and 1. 
Please stand for the reading of God's word. John 1 and 1 says, In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him, and without him was nothing made that was made. Yes. Hallelujah. Wow. Hebrews 11 and 1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Hallelujah. You may be seated. Uh, if I could use for a topic tonight, uh, it would be, has your faith failed you? You know, Bishop been talking, some of the other uh, ministers in the house, elders been uh, talking about uh, we got to stay steadfast, you know, unmovable in God's word, uh, in his way. Hallelujah. Um, let us pray. Oh, Lord, we thank you on tonight. We thank you for your word. We ask, Father, that it edify, deliver, and set free. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, you know, just for about 10 minutes, I'm going to say <laughs> what the Lord said, and I'm, we're going home. <laughs> Even though I didn't tell y'all, Bishop told me to keep y'all about an hour and a half. I'm just playing, I'm just playing, I'm just playing. <laughs> Hallelujah. All right, now. Have you ever thought to yourself, if it ain't one thing, it's another. And somehow that one thing or another puts you in a state of mind that causes you to act out of character. Now, I know we don't like to think to our, about ourselves, you know, that we're acting out of character, especially the saints, you know, the church folk, because we understand that it's the character of the heart of the believer that gives us an inward witness of God's truth. It's something about the heart. Uh, the latter part of 1 Samuel 16 and 7 says, For man looketh on the outward appearance, but God the Lord looketh on the heart. In other words, you can't fool God. Uh, because God knows your heart. Proverbs 4 and 23 tells us, Keep thy heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. You know, so often uh, we get caught up in our personal issues instead of getting caught up with Jesus. And before you know it, uh, two, three, four years have gone by and we try to figure out where did the time go yes. and how did I get so far off track and where do I go from here? Well, maybe it's me just thinking those thoughts because when I look back over my life, yeah. I see this 14-year-old child who lost her mother and she began to live an adult life and was placed in a foster home because nobody cared enough to come and see about her. But when I look at her now and I see a 50-year-old woman who a few months ago allowed the issues of life to cause her to look at herself differently. Uh, Cause you know issues will make you look at yourself differently. You don't know if you're saved. You don't know if you wanna be saved. Uh, all you know is something is going on. And because a life, uh, you know, will cause you to cancel yourself out of the promises of God. Uh, because time will tell you that it's over. And I know I'm not the only one in this place uh, that has let time tell them that it's over. Because I'm foolish enough to believe that what I went through and came out of 
was not just for me, but it was for somebody else. Uh, so I stopped by to tell somebody tonight that God started time and he sits on the outside of time and he rolled out time and in a moment he began a good work and he saw that it was good. So uh, it's not over till God says it's over. It's interesting uh, that we believe the promises of man, uh, but we don't believe the man that made the promise. Isaiah 7 and 14 says, uh, Therefore the Lord himself shall give you a sign. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son and shall call his name Emmanuel. Uh, God doesn't make promises he can't keep. So, uh, Isaiah uh, tells us, for Isaiah 55 and 10 through 11, tells us, For as the rain cometh down, and the snow from heaven, and returneth not thither, but watereth the earth, and make it bring forth in bud, that it may give seed to the sower, and bread to the eater, so shall my word be that go forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but shall accomplish that which I, which I please, and uh, it shall prosper in the thing whereto I send it. Ain't that like God? <laughs> he'll do what he said he'll do. <laughs> so God is not confused about who he says that you are. Uh, Jeremiah 1 and 5 says, Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou comest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee. And I do, uh, do, uh, ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. Uh, God goes on to say in Jeremiah 29 and 11, For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace, not of evil, to give you an expected end. So who do you think you are speaking death into your life when God speaks life? Uh, uh, a few months ago, I was sitting on the bed and I began to think about some things. And it was kind of depressing. Then I heard God say, look in the mirror. See, when I was a little girl, I used to look in the mirror at myself all the time. You know, comb my hair, you know, all that kind of stuff. You know how we do. <laughs> and when God said, look in the mirror, I began to look in the mirror. And I remembered uh, hearing the older folk say, you know the eyes are the window to the soul. Hallelujah. And then I began to look a little deeper. And I heard God say, don't forget the promises. Uh, has your faith failed you? Uh, because faith and the promises work together. You can't separate them. Uh, Romans 4 and 16 in the NIV says, Therefore, the promise comes by faith, so that it may be by grace, and may be guaranteed to all Abraham's offsprings, not only to those who are of the law, but also to those who are of Abraham's, mm -mm, sorry y'all, who are of Abraham's faith. He is the father of all of us so we have to have faith to believe uh, that God's word will come to pass in our lives uh, because it's our faith in God that gets us to the promises Hebrews 11 1 says now faith is the substance of things hoped for the evidence of things not seen the sixth verse goes on to say but without faith it is impossible to please him. 
For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Uh, we know that the enemy doesn't want us to have faith uh, because we know uh, without faith, without vision, the people perish. And I know uh, what it's like to live without faith and vision. Uh, you'll find yourself in a dark place without hope. Uh, that has been, uh, I lost my place, y'all. Y'all better pray for me. Uh, like I said, you'll find yourself in a dark place. And if this is you in this place tonight, or you know somebody that's close to you that has been living in the natural without faith, God said, come and ask him for what you will. Uh, he said, don't hesitate about coming and asking him because your life depends on it. That's why I thank God for Bishop, because you know what? My life depends on the word that comes out of his mouth. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 I know we only examine ourselves during communion, but we should always examine ourselves uh, because somebody needs us. And without faith, without vision, we can't do anything because we helpless ourselves. So I say to you, remember and don't forget the promise. Uh, There's so much that God wants to do for us. And I say us because I'm saying to myself, um, because I know I slip here and there, you know. Your mind get weary, you know. But God said, come to him. And he'll, he'll do what he said he would do. All you have to do is just trust him and believe that he is who he say he is and believe that you are who he say that you are. I'm finished. So may God bless you and keep you for this is the will of the Lord. Now, I didn't tell her an hour and a half, but I did tell her a half hour. Amen. God bless you. Come on, what a word. Has your faith failed you?